but the thoughts will still come. That's what you might mean by that meditation doesn't work. You'll still be thinking. Many people think you're supposed to have a blank mind with meditation. All it is is becoming the observer of the thoughts that are going through your mind. What do I do when meditation doesn't work? Very interesting question because it makes you imagine that that you know if it doesn't work that there's a performance aspect to it. Really all meditation is is getting into a state of relaxation. And and you might feel so caught up in things or so angst filled that that it's hard for you to relax. But all that meditation is, is sitting down comfortably, finding a nice, comfortable position, letting yourself relax and roll your shoulders or just let your head roll from side to side, just as a symbol that you're now letting yourself feel more comfortable within your physical body. And then as you start to connect, what you're doing is watching the thoughts that cross your mind. You either occupy your mind with slow rhythmic breaths, just even inhale and slow and even exhale, nice and slow, just slow it down. As you slow down your breath, your mind will slow down. And then notice that the thoughts will still come. That's what you might mean by that meditation doesn't work. You'll still be thinking. Many people think you're supposed to have a blank mind with meditation. All it is is becoming the observer of the thoughts that are going through your mind. There's a part of us, our inner being or the being of us that observes things. It doesn't have a commentary or running commentary. The human part of us, we're human beings. The human part of us always thinks it has to have a commentary about things to keep us safe and to keep us aware and to keep us engaged with things. That can be really angst promoting. So there are times we just need to break from that mind. And the only way to do it is to sit down and watch the thoughts as they come and go and come and go again. And you can liken it to clouds in the sky. Like there's the being part of us sits in a state of vastness. It's not commenting on everything. It's just accepting. It's just being with things. It's the utmost acceptance. And so this being part of us can just observe as the human part of us has all of its gyrations and thinking being one of them, activity, constant activity being one of them. And now we just stop all of that and observe what it's like to watch the thoughts move across the mind. So they're like clouds. At first, it might seem like a storm. There's so many clouds, they're bunched together and you can't even see any sky. There is no vastness. But the more you deliberately and slowly breathe, the more space you'll see between the clouds. And then you'll start to observe the clouds and that there's actually space between the thoughts. So when people say they have anxiety, no, you're really just thinking one anxious thought after another. And once you start to slow down the thoughts, you'll see that there actually can be a pattern interrupt at times that you don't have to keep on this perpetual motion of thinking such crazy wild thoughts all the time. Then you'll start to notice that the clouds slow down a little bit and they start to become more like white puffy clouds. And the thoughts are actually interesting. You start to see the inception of a thought that made you feel awful and terrible. And then you actually have the capacity not to think that. So just letting yourself relax. It's not work to meditate. It's the one who relaxes the most wins. Just relax. Don't judge yourself. This being part of us doesn't judge us for anything. So you'll see that it can watch the thoughts and it cannot judge the thoughts and it can let them come and go and just be like clouds in the sky. And then soon you'll notice that because you're just watching them come and go and not identifying with them, that you'll have a greater and greater resonance with the being part of you, the vastness of the sky. And then when a cloud comes, it'll be like, oh, cloud. Oh, negative thought. 
oh, angry thought. Do I have to think that right now? No, I'm just sitting here. I'm just doing nothing. And then you'll start to realize that you can actually pick and choose the thoughts you think. The being of us wants a perfect happiness, only wants us peaceful. So it prompts us to only think thoughts that actually feel happy, lovely, beautiful, creative, fun thoughts. If it's a mess out there, don't worry. You can show up and fix it, help it, evolve it. I won't say fix it as much as embrace it. <laughs> the being of us embraces everything. And from that place of embrace, it transforms and transmutes things. So it doesn't try to fix things or fix people or fix situations. It shows up wisely, observingly, and then moves in in a state of connectivity and with grace and ease. And you'll watch how things transform in your outer world because you're capable of just sitting and being and watching your inner world. So I hope that dispelled some of the myths around meditation that you have to get a blank mind in order to be doing it right or having it work and let yourself just relax into, especially in the beginning, not knowing what you're doing. All you're doing is observing your thoughts. It's not that difficult. It's like sitting and watching a movie. Everybody knows how to watch a movie from a certain age. Watch the movie of your mind, but from that front row, eating the popcorn and enjoying the show. Don't try to change your thoughts. Don't try to fix your thoughts. Don't try to do anything. Just watch the show. And then if you don't like it, turn it off. Ultimately, you'll have the capacity to do that. You'll be able to choose which thoughts you want to think based on how they make you feel. Feels great? Go for it. Your divine being wants you and your perfect happiness, always happy, wants you happy. If it feels awful and terrible, you're not thinking in alignment with your true self. And that's never going to work. It'll be a lot of work for nothing. So just connect and observe it first, and then you'll see your divine self really has all the answers. It's going to tell you what to do in the most peaceful, happy, relaxed way.